Hi, grade threes. This week in math, we're looking all at measurement. And so one of the things we're talking about in measurement is perimeter. So that's the distance around something. So you'll be measuring that and estimating that. Um, and we'll practice that also in our Google Meets this week. I have a book for you that also reviews measurement. So you can listen along and learn more about measurement of perimeter. Racing Around by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Mike Reed, read with permission by HarperCollins. So as you're listening to the story, you can think about the perimeter around the athletic field, the zoo, and perimeter path, and you can keep track of it. After the story, this week, you could use a ruler and find the distance around familiar objects in your house, like picture frames, tabletops, or computer screens, and then you can make a drawing to figure out the perimeter of those objects. I've already done the race twice, bragged Justin. It's on perimeter path. That's all the way around the park. When I finish this year, I'll have three medals. Well, I'm going to do it this year, said Marissa. I've already done a 10 mile race and this is a little shorter. I want to try too, said their little brother, Mike. Even Bingo looked like he wanted to race. You'll never make it, said Justin with a laugh. You'd better wait a few years, Marissa added. No way, Mike said, I can do it. Yesterday, I rode my bike all the way around the athletic field. I bet that's almost as long as the race. Oh yeah, said Justin. Remember that odometer I got for my birthday? It measures distance exactly. I'll check and see how far you went. Justin started at the corner of the athletic field and rode all the way down one side. The odometer read one kilometer. Then he rode down the next side. The odometer read three. That meant the second side was two kilometers long. The third side was one kilometer again. The odometer was at four and the final side was two kilometers. I went all the way around and the perimeter of the field is only six kilometers, Justin said. That's not even half of 15, said Marissa. But Mike didn't give up. The next day, when Justin and Marissa were out, he got his dad to sign the permission form. I'm going to ride in the race, he announced when his brother and sister came home. Today, I rode all the way around the zoo. I bet that's pretty close to 15 kilometers. No way, said Marissa. I'll check it tomorrow, said Justin. The next morning, Justin rode his bike to the zoo. He set his odometer to zero. When he got to the monkey house, it read two. It was one kilometer to the seal pool. The odometer read three. The lion habitat was one kilometer away. Now he'd gone four kilometers in all. After two more kilometers, Justin was back at the bird gauge. That made six. Then one more long side and he was back at the entrance. Marissa, Mike, and Bingo were waiting. How far was it? Mike shouted. Just nine kilometers, Justin answered. That's still a long way from 15, Marissa said. Finally, the day of the race arrived. Justin, Marissa, and Mike were at the starting line. You wait right here for us, Mike, said Marissa. But while Justin and Marissa went to get in line, Mike hurried back to the sign-up table. He gave the lady his permission form. This is a long race, she said. Are you sure you can make it all the way around? Yes, said Mike. I'm sure. Mike stayed at the back of the line. Justin and Marissa never saw him. Wait right here for me, Bingo, said Mike. Racers, on your marks, shouted a man with a megaphone. Get set. Go. All the bikers took off. Mike followed the crowd along the first stretch. This is easy, he yelled. Four kilometers. Then he started up a small hill. He pumped hard and soon he was at the top. Six kilometers. Mike coasted down the hill. At the bottom was a sign. Okay, shouted Mike. I can do this. Eight kilometers. But when he turned a corner, there was a long, steep hill. He started up and up and up. I'm never going to get to the top he thought. There were only a few other racers in sight. Mike was the last. 11 kilometers. Finally, Mike made it up the hill. He had to stop and rest for a few minutes, but he didn't give up. The road lay straight in front of him. Mike started pedaling as hard as he could. Ahead, he saw a sign that read 12 kilometers. Almost there, Mike panted. 
but then his bike hit a rock. Mike bumped and bounced and fell. Mike was tired. He was hot. He was sweaty. And he'd banged his knee. He didn't want to race any more. They were right, he thought. I can't make it all the way around. Just then, Mike heard something in the distance. It sounded like a dog barking. It was Bingo. Bingo raced up and gave Mike a great big lick. Mike laughed. Bingo, did you try to come find me? He asked. I guess I'd better finish the race after all. Mike got back on his bike. Justin and Marissa had already made it back to the finish line. Now where's Mike? Marissa asked. He was supposed to wait for us here. And where's Bingo? Justin added. Then they heard the man with the megaphone make an announcement. Let's hear it for our last rider, folks. He's just coming around the bend of Perimeter Path. Justin and Marissa ran back to the finish line just in time to see Bingo come panting across it. And right beside him was Mike. Way to go, little brother, Justin yelled. Mike stopped his bike and hopped off. I told you, he said. I knew I could make it all the way around. Thanks for listening, grade threes. I can't wait to practice more perimeter measurement with you guys later. Bye.